Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have a definite integral from 2 to log base 2 of 6 of 2 raised to the 2x plus 1 minus 9 times 2 to the x minus 6 over 4 to the x minus 2 to the x minus 6 dx. So pause the video, try it on your own if you would like. I'm going to jump right in. And what popped out at me was repeatedly saying 2 to the x. And then I know I can write 4 to the x as 2 squared to the x. So I'm thinking we're going to need to make some sort of substitution involving 2 to the x. So before I do that, let's play around and clean up this 2 to the 2x plus 1. If you'll remember, I can rewrite that as 2 to the 2x times 2 to the first. And then 2 to the 2x is the same as 2 to the x squared, right, times 2 to the first. Okay, perfect. Similarly, this 4 to the x, that's 2 squared to the x, which you can also write as 2 to the x squared. Multiplication is commutative, so you can interchange where those exponents are. So now let's rewrite everything. That way we can be set up to do a nice little u sub. So 2 to log base 2 of 6. So the numerator I'm going to write as 2 times 2 to the x squared minus 9 times 2 to the x minus 6 over, instead of 4 to the x, now I have 2 to the x squared minus 2 to the x minus 6 dx. Good? All right, perfect. So let's make our u sub. Let's try letting u be 2 to the x. So the derivative would be 2 to the x times natural log of 2 dx. And then scanning through, okay, I don't have ln of 2, I just have dx. So let me divide that over, and I'm also going to divide over 2 to the x, because I don't see that. I don't have an extra one up top. No problem. So 1 over 2 to the x ln of 2 du is dx, but have no fear, u is 2 to the x. So I can replace that with u, and we can go ahead with this u substitution as planned. So 1 over ln of 2, we'll, we'll put that outside, and then you have 1 over u du is dx. Good? Okay, perfect. Last thing, don't forget, don't be sloppy, we have to change our limits of integration. So currently these limits 2 and log base 2 of 6 belong to x, so I'm going to substitute them in right there. So u of 2 is 2 squared, that's 4, and then u of log base 2 of 6 Ooh, that's 2 raised to the log base 2 of 6, which is 6. Perfect. So here's our new integral, all in terms of u. I'm going to put the ln of 2 outside. 1 over ln of 2, integrating from 2 to, or 4 to 6. No more 2. Now it's 4. And we have 2u squared minus 9u minus 6 over, because all of these 2 to the x's are now u, over u squared minus u minus 6. And then we have times 1 over u du. Okay, now the denominator factors, but the numerator does not. So, yep, you betcha, it's time for partial fractions. Oh, wow. It's okay. So we have 2u squared minus 9u minus 6 over u times u minus 3 times u plus 2. Thankfully, they're all linear, right? Nothing's repeated, so this won't be too bad. We have a over u plus b over u minus 3, plus c over u plus 2. Okay, perfect. Multiply through by the LCD, and then we'll have 2u squared minus 9u minus 6 is a times u minus 3, u plus 2, plus b times u times u plus 2, plus c times u times u minus 3. So I'm going to substitute in first Let's let u be positive 3. Then on the left-hand side, I'll get negative 15 equals 15b. So b is negative 1. And then if I let u be negative 2, on the left-hand side, I'll get 20 equals 10c. So c is 2. And then if u is 0, negative 6 equals negative 6a. So a is 1. Perfect. So now, da, 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 at long last, we have 1 over ln of 2, integral from 4 to 6, a over u 
then b is negative 1 over u minus 3 plus 2, which is c, over u plus 2 du. And then we're pretty much home free. So we've got 1 over ln of 2. All these antiderivatives are going to be ln absolute value of the denominator, so that's fun. And then last guy's plus 2, ln absolute value, u plus 2. Always keep the absolute value as long as there's a variable quantity inside. And then once you evaluate it at your limits of integration, you can drop it. So this is 1 over ln of 2. Um, upper limit's going to be ln of 6 minus ln of 3 plus 2 ln of 8 minus lower limit, so minus ln of 4 plus ln of 1 minus 2 ln of 6. Okay, ln of 1 is 0, so get on out of here. What else? These I can combine, right? They're the same log. And I feel like we're going to clean up quite a bit with our log properties. So 1 over ln of 2 times we have 2 ln of 8. That's the only one that's positive. And then minus ln of 3 minus ln of 4 minus ln of 6. Let's combine those into a single logarithm see where this is going to go. So 1 over ln of 2. So this is ln of 64. And then I'm going to combine all the rest of them into the denominator. 64 over 3 times 4 times 6, which is 72. So this can simplify to ln of 8 over 9. All of this, that's ln of 8 over 9. And then I have over ln of 2. Can we simplify further? Sure. I can write this as ln of 8 minus ln of 9, each of them over ln of 2. And then we could use change of base. Oh yeah, I can write ln of 8 over ln of 2 as log base 2 of 8 minus, this is log base 2 of 9. Log base 2 of 8 is 3. And then 9 is 3 squared. So shall we write this as 2 log base 2 of 3? Yes, why not? And there you have it, folks, your final answer. Did you get there? Did you get to some variation? How far did you simplify? I think that's the interesting part to discuss about this problem. And also, if you took a different approach, I'd love to hear it. So drop it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me keep this series going to make more integral of the day and other calculus and math content. Don't forget to follow me 